Hi, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how Google ranks your website in the search results and how you can take advantage of that to get more traffic to your site by getting it on the first page. So for comparison, I've taken your website and then some of the top three listings in right in your search area. And I just put them into this tool that I use and it shows me all the information that Google finds on your site and then rates its strength and its trust on a scale of 1 to 100. So just by looking at the numbers, you can see why a lot of these sites are being listed on the first page and outranking yours. But let me go into a little bit more detail on what these numbers mean and how you can improve them. So when Google is determining how to rank your website, it uses two factors. The first is what's called the authority or trust that it has in your site. It's basically just a popularity contest. Now this authority is gained by what are called backlinks when other websites link or refer back to yours. They basically act as an endorsement that Google uses to build trust because others are vouching for you. So just to define these terms, if the local news station did an article on the top 10 best home remodeling companies in Massachusetts, and in that article the reader could click on a link and it would bring them to your website, that would be considered one backlink from one referring domain or one referring website. Now backlinks can also come from blogs, any kind of posting sites or press releases, but one important type is what's called a citation. Now a citation is any time that your name, address, or phone number is listed in an online directory. Now those include Yelp, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau. They're usually free, but just take some time to find them, register your business, and then input all the information exactly as is shown in Google. Now you can see why Google trusts these sites and recommends them in search over yours based on the number of links and referring domains that they have. But something to keep in mind is it's not just the quantity of these links, it's also the quality. So they need to be relative to your industry or your, or your field and then from a site that Google trusts, otherwise they won't add any authority. Now the second factor for ranking your site is the content on the page. But as you can see, Google is only finding one keyword and it's when people are searching for you directly and unfortunately, even at that, you're in the 23rd position, which means it's going to put you on the third page. So people aren't even finding you when they search directly. So just to look at one of your competitors, these are all the keywords and phrases that are being typed in the Google search, as well as the volume, the approximate number of times per month. So this is where we do some research to find all the highest volume keywords relative to your service area and the services that you offer. We make sure that those are being included on your website so that way you're coming up in the search results. So for instance, Kitchen Remodel Massachusetts is being searched 200 times a month. If you're on the first page of Google search, 200 people will be seeing your website. And then we're usually pretty conservative and say only 10% of those people will actually become leads and give you a call for service. Now, I don't know what the conversion rate is for your business, but let's say even just a quarter of those actually become clients and you get a job out of it you could be getting potentially five new jobs every month just off of this one keyword phrase. So then we re repeat that same process for all the high volume keywords. So that way, obviously, you know, each job has its own profit margin and it varies, but just the sheer number of leads coming in per month can add up to some serious revenue at the end of the month and at the end of the year. Now, there is a formula that Google uses to find these keywords on your site. So when I look at your site, the layout is great. We've got all the information we need right up here. Uh, the only thing I would probably suggest is a lot of people are searching on their mobile devices nowadays. So probably have like a click the call button where they can just instantly dial right out. Uh, but as far as Google is concerned, when it's going to come in, it's just going to count all the words on the page. Now it's basically looking for a minimum of about 1,500 to 2,000 words because it assumes that the more information you have on the page, the more of an expert you are, and then the more likely it is to recommend you in search. Now, while it's counting all the words, it's also searching for all those keywords, usually going to be any kind of service that you offer and then areas that you offer it in. Now, this is where the number of words on the page really comes into play, because you're only allowed to have one of those keywords for every 150 words of text on the page. And words like this usually come up as a picture, so they don't get picked up and then there's just not enough content on the page to be able to qualify for any more keywords. So this is where we just have to add some content to the page so that way we can strategically place those high volume keywords. So that way you'll be found in search when people are searching for the services that you can offer. So when we look at the search, 
the first thing that's going to come up is what's called the map pack. Now, this is actually a pretty important area to try to get into because up to half of the people that are searching will just click on one of these top links. So to fill to get in here, you just need to fill out your Google business profile, which is free. It's part of your Maps app, so you can do it right from a smartphone. You want to fill out all the fields that you can, including the services that you offer, the areas you offer it in, even the hours of operation. Then you want to get photos that are geotagged within your service area and upload those as well as posts to your profile on a regular basis. Try to get as many customer reviews. Then you want to get as many of those citations, your name, address, and phone number. You want to be listed in more directories than anybody else on this list. Then underneath that, this is what we call the organic search results. This is where the higher the authority or more trust that Google has in your site, the higher up in the list that you're going to rank. This is where you need to get more of those backlinks and referring domains. So that way you have more than the competition and then you can get higher up in this list. So I hope that helps and allows you to scale some of your online presence, but please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or if you'd like me to go into any further details. Uh, also, we could talk about your goals and I could do some research to find out what it would take for you to reach those. And I always appreciate getting feedback as well to find out if information like this is useful for you. So please let me know what you thought. Thanks and I hope this helps.